wanted to share with you the first real snowfall of the season up in the Coeur d'Alene Post Falls area. It's 26 degrees out. The roads are, you know, put the ice stuff down and the sand. drive down towards downtown Coeur d'Alene. I'm on Sherman Avenue. I'm actually going kind of west. There's still people out and about, just not as many as like in the summertime. You gotta be real careful because you apply the brakes, it has a tendency to try and, you know, skid, the interlock kicks in a lot, so you gotta be very, very, very careful when you're stopping. The cool thing is most people are, you know, well aware of that and drive that way. We've got an all-wheel drive, it's got different modes, so we can do snow mode or normal mode, off-road, there's four different modes. So here's the tail end of Sherman right before we get to the resort, which is on the left-hand side. Coming up, we're not there yet. Lisa's actually there today. I gave her a, a present for our anniversary. It's a mas an hour massage and a facial. So she's going to be in there for a while today. So there's the resort flag is at half staff because of Bob Dole, great Republican senator from years ago. There's the Hagedone headquarters with the Christmas tree right there. And then you can see out kind of a gray, dreary, dreary day, Lake Coeur Lane. There's Independence Point. That's where we catch the cruise boats. And now I'm going to turn around and go the other way. Little change of plans. I thought I would, since I'm down this way, Go around the circle, around the colleges, and show you Spokane River, cedars on the water, and the resort from the Coeur d'Alene Beach. This is the area where there's three colleges, North Idaho College, it's a, another uh, kind of a branch of the University of Idaho, the Vandals. see it as I come across it. see it, those houses up on the hill, all the roofs with snow on it, you get probably the best view in this whole area of Port Lane, Spokane River area anyway. So right along here is a walkway that we walk and ride our bikes. See, there's the Spokane River. And right here is where Coeur d'Alene, Lake Coeur d'Alene, empties into Spokane River. That cedar's over there, the floating restaurant that we go to all the time. Picnic, picnic benches don't look like they're being used right now. This is all the parking for the college students on the left. There's some geese over there taking flight. It's great. Looks like the plow hasn't come through here in a little while. 
supposed to get three to four inches today. You can barely see across the lake and it's still snowing a little bit on that side. That's Tubbs Hill directly in front right, right there. It's a great hiking area. Lisa and I need to get over there and get hiking. There's a whole bunch of geese down in that area. It's like they're just along the shore. Chilling. I'll look it up and uh, put in this uh, when I edit to see what the water temperature is. But again, outside temperature right now is 26 degrees. Some more of the college buildings over here. Yeah, there's quite a, group, quite a group of geese all lined up. Staying in the water. There's some nice homes in this little area. The thing I like about being up here is even in this kind of weather, people are still out and about. Like these people are walking their dogs. I saw a guy riding a bike on the bike trail. Yeah, I don't know if I'd be doing that, but. Some nice homes. And then there is directly in front of us, that is Coeur d'Alene Beach. And that's the big resort, the Coeur d'Alene Resort. They still have boat cruises. The cruises right now are going to see the bald eagles over at Higgins Point. And then they take off um, on the other side of the resort. They go and go to a cruise to the North Pole, see Santa at the North Pole. And that's really a, a really cool cruise for family. They take the boat across the lake over to an area across the way and it's all set up where Santa and Mrs. Claus greet all the people on the cruise boat and they actually have a list of the kids' names and they actually say hi to them all when you cruise by. And there's fireworks every night. A couple cruises a night, I believe. I'll post that, that link on there as well. Again, more pretty homes along here. This one's for sale, if anyone's interested. And now I'm gonna head back down through Sherman Avenue and go out. I'm gonna see if the bald eagles are even active right now. Just want to see kind of what what they're doing during the day like this. Okay, so this is the Coeur d'Alene Resort going the other way. So this is again downtown Coeur d'Alene, Sherman Avenue. Right here is a famous place where the Pepsi Cola sign is, is Hudson's Hamburgers. They've been there since 1907. They've been voted the number one hamburger in the entire state of Idaho. We've yet to go in there. Our realtor swears by it. We're gonna go in there and check it out one of these days. school shops, some bars and restaurants along the way. We've been in a few of them, but not all of them.
Now we're coming out of the commercial area. There's still some, you know, real estate agencies and some doctor offices in these old, old homes. But this is kind of a neat area where they've actually torn down some older homes, put up newer ones. This is a bed and breakfast. Some sort of office or dentist there. Some homes. It's a very pretty area of Coeur d'Alene. I actually like this house right here in the corner, that green and kind of beige trim house. Pretty day in Coeur d'Alene. Looks like the snow has let up a little bit. Oh, it's warming up too. It's 27 degrees now. Another really well-known place in here. It's called Jimmy's Down the Street Restaurant. And it's next to a newer restaurant, a wine tasting room called The Wine House. We're almost back around to Highway 90, where it goes east to west. East going towards Montana, ends up in Maine actually. West going towards Seattle, um, and it ends a little bit beyond Seattle. And now I'm on Lake Coeur d'Alene Drive. This is actually the old highway, and it used to go right up by Higgins Point and then up the hill. This is the famous Coeur d'Alene Resort golf course out here. It's got the world famous floating green. I believe it's the 14th hole. We've done some videos on that. Looks pretty even in the snow. This video is making a liar out of me. I don't know, maybe it's just because of the amount of snow coming down, but we just took a video of this area when we came out to watch the bald eagles a couple weeks ago. And if you recall, there was a, a walking riding trail to the right, right here, right where all these benches and exercise spots are. And normally this would be um, cleaned, plowed, or maybe, you know, snow removing salts put down, but it's solid snow today. So I'm gonna look into that because I thought that was all clean normally. Some really pretty homes around here. So right on the edge of the lake. Some up there on the hill. As I said, it's even beautiful in the, the winter time. Ah, just, just by luck, I spotted one of the cruise boats and that's heading over to Hagen's Point to check out the, the bald eagles. We may have to do that one of these days. That big overpass above us, that's where Highway 90 now runs through the area. Going to the left would be going west towards Spokane, Seattle, and going right would be towards Montana, Wyoming, that direction.
Not only do we see eagles, we see some other wild animals too. You know, it's hard to soar with eagles when you work with a bunch of turkeys. Well, we got some good shots of some eagles just soaring around. And I wanted to show you, this is the other side of Tubbs Hill. That's a park here, Coeur d'Alene, where you can hike all around that hill. Pretty nice area.